we're just going to cover um, solution testing. Now, solution testing, testing is supported by the test workbench in Solution Manager. A test plan is created um, in the system with assignments to a specific project. It's possible to define classification data that can be used for reporting purposes. For example, you can define which test phase the test plan is relevant for. If you have multiple different test phases, for example, integration testing or user acceptance testing, you're able to link a given test plan to that test phase so that for your reporting purposes, you're able to find things a, a lot more easier. It's also possible to define different release strategies for your test plan. For example, some companies will, will want a very a strict process by where a test plan is reviewed by a test manager before it's released to the testers for execution. This release strategy can be defined in a very simple way. Also, you need to define which processes the test plan is relevant for. Once the test plan is created, you need to define test packages, which in turn is where you assign which test cases will be executed for the test package. You can also define test sequences, for example, if test 1 needs to be executed before test 3 and then test 5 needs to be executed, this can be defined. And you can also assign um, testers. During the test execution phase, the testers can define test, um, the, the current status of testing. They can create test notes where they can uh, document the testing activity and they can define and create any error messages. Now, from an analysis perspective, you have the possibility to monitor the, the test process. You're able to see if there's been any test errors or um, if there's any restrictions that have been encountered during the testing, and you can also view error messages. And this is where then you can define if retesting is required. So very quickly, just moving into the system. So um, first step is to create a test plan. Very simply, you have to create a test plan against a project. We'll give it a, a testing. You define a test set, and the test set um, defines which phase of testing um, it's from. Now you, you can define your own uh, release profile, so this defines how the, the test plan is to be approved before it's released. There are various settings that you can make, for example, you can make a setting to give you only release test documents. Um, I will uncheck this uh, for demonstration purposes. Now once the the system creates the test plan, you are then able to assign um, information in the test packages. So you will notice again that you have a structured view of your business scenarios and business processes and you can see all of the test documentation which is um, which is has been created in the system. So the first step is to define which test documents you want to include in your test plan. So I've only selected sales order process and then I need to generate my test plan and the um, test plan has been generated. Next I need to um, create the test packages. What we see on our screen now is the test plan. We can see we have um, six test cases that we selected. And the first uh, thing I need to do is to create my um, test package. I need to select the uh, test documents which are relevant in this test package. Very simply by uh, clicking them. Click the generate button and I need to give it a name. Save. I will also create one uh, for second uh, test package to cover the other two um, tests. Again, click generate. 
uh, give it a title. Now, once I've done this, I'm able to define um, testers for my test packages. So I can assign um, a user within the project, pick myself. Once the tester is assigned, you can see it on the screen. I'll assign a different user. Just pick one. And here you can see now um, that you have a different um, tester. Now, um, I said before that it's possible to define test sequences uh, within your test package by clicking this button. So I, I won't go through that now. Um, you can see here then that I've assigned four test cases to test um, tester one and uh, two test cases to tester two. Within the um, tester work list, when the tester uses this transaction, he will only see the tests which are relevant for him. You can see now that there are um, four, um, that there, we have this um, test plan with four open um, test cases without any result. If we double click on, the, um, on this, it will take us directly into the performance um, area. So on the one hand, you have all of your test cases and you have test documents which are taken from your configuration um, screen. So uh, if you remember me showing you, this is the procedure. For, for how you execute your test. Now, you can also create a test note. So before you actually start testing, um, if, you, if you're a company that does manual testing, this is not uh, automated testing, but if you do manual testing, you can copy the test document that we've just looked at. If you copy this document, this allows you to make changes to the document without affecting the, the original document in the test plan. Once I've executed my tests, I've documented all of the results. Maybe I've attached some evidence, for example, some screenshot shots to the Word document. I save it and close it. And um, this information is always available for your project and you will always see it in your project. I can define how long it has taken me to do the testing. I can define the status of the test, whether the test was okay or whether it uh, failed. If you actually select that the test has failed, you'll be asked to fill in um, a message to describe the error that you have seen. So i just quickly um, show you now. Uh, because my test was okay, see in the traffic light system that the status is okay. You can also see the test note that was documented and it should show here the text um, that we entered like so. We'll just, so um, in the test work list this is where the user can see the status of his testing from a um, if you're a test manager you have this information available in the um, uh, directly in the uh, test plan management screen. You can see here that we have five overall in this test plan. We have five results with um, uh, sorry five test cases with no results, and we have one test case uh, with a result. And we can see that um, we have uh, one that's passed in test package one. You can also um, go to the uh, status analysis where you can see which, um, which test case is actually uh, passed or failed.